Another really powerful spreadsheet tool is VLOOKUP, which stands for Vertical Lookup. It is a formula used to look up specific information located in a column of a spreadsheet, so it's searching vertically. The same sort of thing can be used for looking up values in columns, but it is called HLOOKUP, horizontal lookup. This is useful for large datasets when you just want to see specific information. For example, in a large dataset of attendees for an event, you might just want to extract the name and dietary requirements. To keep things simple, let's use a very simple dataset where we do exactly that. You'll find it below, so open it and make a copy to work on. Let's move over a few columns and create two new column headings, name and dietary requirements. Let's click on the first cell after, under name and type equals and then click on the first cell under the original name column. So this is going to duplicate the data from our original um, data set into this new name column we have. Let's duplicate this column down so we have a list of all the names. Under our dietary requirements column, let's try a VLOOKUP. Let's type an equal VLOOKUP Now you'll notice VLOOKUP has several requirements. It requires a search key, a range, an index, and something that looks a bit strange called is sorted. The search key is the unique identifier you want to look for. In this case, it is the name. So let's click on the first name cell. The range is where you want to look for it. In this case, it is in all of the cells containing the original data. So let's type a comma and then drag to select all of our original data. The index is the column you want to pull the data from. In this case, it is dietary preferences. So this is the sixth column. So let's type in a comma and then the number six. Now is sorted is about whether the data you are searching is organized in an order or not and it can either be true or false. True means an approximate match is acceptable, and false means it needs to match your search key exactly. In this case, we can leave it out because false is the default. So now we can close our brackets and press enter. You'll see Susan's dietary preferences have been duplicated into our dietary requirements column. We can duplicate this formula down to produce a list of just the names and the dietary requirements without any of the other clutter. You could also do this in a separate spreadsheet to keep it even tidier. 